Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we've got a big one. Um, we're off to Castile in Belgium, and we have a bottle of um, uh, the Barista, 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 Barista. He, he does fucking, he does bloody law and that, doesn't he? Barista, Barista, Barista. Barrister for me, Barrister Chocolate Quad, Super Smashing Grey, clocking in at 11% ABV. There you go. Now, I well, first off, it's 11%. I thought this was could be a variation of their Castile Donker, which I'll be reviewing next week, boys and girls, I think. Not too sure. But this was originally uh, released as Castile Winter. Um, that's all I know about it. Um, so, Desperada, I, I tell you, Desperada, Desper, I'm opening a, a, a Belgian quad with a Desperado's bottle opener. It's, <laughs> there's no respect given to this beer at all in this channel, boys and girls, there isn't. Oh, uh, let's crack it open anyway. So this was picked up from the Trending Madness in York. For I think it was four quid or four fifty, one of the two. I can't remember. Um, so there is the barista, 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 <laughs> whatever you pronounce. Yeah, I'm shit at pronouncing stuff. So anyway, let's pick this. Let's drag this review back. You know, off the gutter. And back into where it should belong with a beer like this. Oh, oh that smells absolutely one. That smells gorgeous. I, I, I tell you what, I wish, I wish you know they invented smell of vision. It, it smells of dark chocolate, caramel, hazelnut for me. There's a slight coffiness there. You could say a mocha coffee, even. It smells absolutely wonderful. It does. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It certainly does. Oh, I think I'm going to like this. So, chocolate beers. Uh, what do I think of them? Well, if they're done properly like the Thornbridge Cocoa Wonderland and the Samuel Smiths. Um, they're really, really good. If they're done really badly, well, they're going to be really, really bad, aren't they? Um, so there you go. I don't know what any info on this. Um, no, that's all in Dutch and Belgium, German. Uh, any info on that? No. That's really the only English on the label, to be honest. Anyway, be in a glass. Jet black, as you can see, thinning off white head. It doesn't let up with that chocolate coffee aroma, slight roastness to it, hazelnut. It smells absolutely gorgeous. It really, really does. It smells like a like a coffee house in a way. I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna love it. Cheers, everyone. Mm. It's not, it's lovely. <laughs> I've got a bit tongue tied there, unusual for me. Um Oh, it's it's nice. Um if when you first drink it, it feels you get the kind of like bitterness of an Italian coffee, ground coffee, if you want. Then you get a lovely roast character there. You, you pick up that roastness. Bang on. Then they get the plain chocolate. You know, it's the chocolate, it's like the chocolate they put on top of the cappuccinos and stuff, you know. It's it's that type of stuff going on. And when you swallow it, you get a beautiful warming alcohol. Is is the best description. It is beautiful. It's very warming. 
And yeah, it, it's absolutely lovely. Um, going again. Mouthfeel could be smoother. It could be smoother. But for me, does it feel an out-and-out -out chocolate beer? Um, well, the chocolate's definitely there, but there's so many other elements to this beer. It kind of like deviates you in a way from thinking it's a purely chocolate beer. And, and I think it works so well with the coffee and and stuff. So, you know, it is an absolute gem. It is. Um, why I haven't, again, it's one of these things, why I haven't tried this before, well, you know, I'm just one of them. Anyway, um, I first came about this beer. Was it Dean was doing it? I can't remember now who was doing it. I think it was Dean. Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews did this. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going again because I'm going off again. I feel, you know, I'm drinking this and I've transported myself into a, you know, a coffee bar talking a load of, you know, stuff. I'm going again. I'm not picking up anything else more than what I've described it but it's really really good um best chocolate beer uh, is is one of them is is a very good chocolate beer um i'm gonna sit on the fence about that because I, I i do love another chocolate beer but, <laughs> but this is really really good boys and girls barista barista or, you know, whatever you want to call him today his chocolate quad from Castile is an absolute belter. It is a lovely, lovely beer. It is. It's 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 just pure joy. Pure joy. Thank you very much for watching this one, boys and girls. Uh, if you haven't turned off already, then uh you're a sucker for punishment. That's all I can say. Murder me in the comments. Tell me what you think. And see all of you again. Looking at it up there, it's gonna be big on another beer review. Cheers.